Welcome to the third episode of my Hypixel Skyblock Bazaar only. In this series I am not allowed to use the auction house or get any help from other players. There are some people that don't really agree with the name of the series, but honestly, I don't think the name matters, as long as you guys are enjoying the content, and it seems like you are. I have been getting so many nice comments and new subscribers lately, and I just want to let you guys know that I really appreciate it. It's been a while since I was this motivated to do YouTube, and it's all thanks to you guys, but that doesn't answer the question. What is this armor I have? Don't worry, I didn't cheat or anything, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Yesterday, when I was buying my daily ice and other goodies, I saw one of those bats that spawn during spooky festivals. I hit it few times and I got two green candy. It's been a while since I last did a spooky festival, so I didn't remember the prices of the candy, but turns out that one green candy goes for almost 900 coins. I still didn't want to do the spooky festival because the only weapon I had was my unenchanted undead sword and I didn't even have any armor. So I just kept making money with my daily items and bazaar. Then I ran into a second bat that was just dropping green candy everywhere. I sold them for like 3.5k, but I still wasn't sure if I wanted to participate or not. But then finally, I was just like, whatever, what is there to lose? Might as well try. So I crafted myself the farming armor and I went to the graveyard. I was actually able to one hit the normal zombies thanks to my foraging level, which made it a bit faster considering I was using unenchanted sword. I ended up with 67 points, which is kinda cute. I got 5 purples and 39 greens, plus the ones that I got from the bats and already sold in bazaar. I got around 60k for all the candy, which is pretty decent I guess. I also got 9 poisonous potatoes those which I used to craft a talisman and then few stacks of rotten flesh that I used to craft a minion and that's pretty much yesterday in a nutshell. Every time I collect these minions I really miss my super compactors. The obsidian minions are the only ones that are never full. Oh nice the second ender just upgrade. We're still far away from the tree capitator though plus whenever I do unlock it I'm still gonna be far away from it because it's so damn expensive. These are the orders I have been doing off recording including the candy I got yesterday. I didn't collect them yet because I wanted to show where I got the money from from. Let's go check our total balance. So we start the episode with 200k. I'm excited to see how much I end up with because the main goal for this video is to buy a raider's axe. But we have a problem and it's not the money. We have enough to buy it, we just can't buy it. That's because you need ice for it, and I don't think you can unlock ice collection with Frostwalker anymore. Instead, I have to wait until the cherry event, which is gonna happen in 11 hours. I could obviously be wrong though, but I'm not gonna waste my levels on Frostwalker boots if it doesn't work. In the last episode, we were mostly unlocking mining and farming collections, so it only makes sense that today we are working on the combat ones. I got my Rotten Flesh up to level 3 during the spooky festival, and I unlocked the slime ball, bone, and gunpowder while I was mining in the deep caverns. But there are still few combat collections that I haven't unlocked and are quite easy to get. So let's enchant this undead sword and go kill some mobs. I say all that, yet here I am going to deep caverns again because I don't have the levels to enchant the sword. It is such a struggle to be a new player, huh? I think I'm gonna mine redstone to get the levels because redstone is actually a really good collection. It's so nice when people help the noobs, but I don't need your diamond armor. I'm happy with my yellow leather. I'm just gonna mine until I get a new mining level. Mining 12. That honestly took way longer than I expected. Let's hope I get something good. I'm just gonna take the sharp 4. Knockback, sharpness, telekinesis, and vampirism. Quite trash, but we are gonna get a better weapon soon anyway. Now let's use all this redstone I mined. Just enough for level 4. I think I'm gonna put this bad boy down. Boom! I am so dumb. I got the 10th minion slot in the last episode, but I never placed down a minion. So many resources went to waste. Feels bad, man. It's fine, guys. We learned from our mistakes. I'm just gonna place down the potato boy for now. I really want to unlock the recipe for the enchanted potatoes, and I'm not going to the barn. I will just let the minion do the work and then replace him when he's done. Now that we are done with all of that, it's time to go get some of those combat minions I was talking about. I might honestly just die because my armor is so bad but hopefully we can get at least some of the minions. I think there are four collections you can unlock from here, although I already have bone. Let's start with the string and spider eye. Ah, 
I don't know what's wrong with this server. I'm missing 600 coins and I have no idea why. Must be a glitch or something. I can't take the risk. If I was fighting spiders when weird things like these are happening, I could die. And I have never died to a spider before. That would be way too embarrassing. So it's gravel time. There's like no gravel here. Who even minds gravel in 2020? I'm actually losing it. I don't understand why the gravel doesn't spawn back faster. Who would have thought that getting gravel at the spiders then is harder than getting anything done at the barn? Finally, I am never coming back here. Getting 50 gravel shouldn't be that difficult. I had to quickly visit the bank to deposit half of my money, just in case. Easiest minion of my life. Wasn't even close to dying. Now I just have to survive to the blazing fortress portal somehow. Wow, I actually made it. Time to unlock like million collections. Why am I not getting the netherrack? Ah, uh, it's because I have the smelting that's on my big axe. There's the glowstone minion, and there's the quartz one. I wonder if the wither skeletons can one-hit me. I totally forgot that you get alchemy instead of farming from netherward. Then again, it's probably been over a year since I last farmed netherward. I kinda like it though. It's kinda funny how these wither skeletons are easier to kill than the spiders. Let's see if I can kill a place without dying. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just try again. I should be able to kill them now, when they are low HP. Nice. Well, at least I unlocked the blaze rod. I think the last things left in nether are magma keeps and ghasts. Magma should be quite easy to get. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh wait, do you need a wooden pickaxe for a nether worth minion? That makes no sense, but thank you. Don't kill me! I'm friendly! I'm gonna kill you though. I think I'm done with nether for now. I'm gonna come back when I have better gear. I think it's time to upgrade those minions I just got. Now we can have 11 minions. String is so cheap and there's something in the string collection that I really want. I'm just gonna get two more spider minions. I'm gonna hide these guys deep underground so I don't accidentally die to them. There's the first one, second one, and this is the last one. After I set up the spider boys, I upgraded few more of my minions by using Bazaar, and then decided to go mining. I mined a decent amount of gold, and then went to the emerald mines. I also crafted two new talismans, the talisman of coins and the magnetic talisman. The main reason I went to the emerald mines was because I needed levels for the silk that's pickaxe which I would need for the cherry event. I then spent few k to craft a placing fortress portal. I didn't say it in the rules, but I obviously do not use anyone else's portals. Then I mined some quartz for my minion, because quartz is expensive and I didn't want to buy it. Then I remembered that I need 20 fish for the fish hat, so I enchanted a really bad fishing rod and went to the lake. Then I got really bored of my fishing speed, so I went to the bazaar and bought some bait. But even with the bait, it still took me like 15 minutes to get 20 normal fish. I got everything else but normal fish and yeah maybe I did die to see monsters a few times as well. I was gonna go sleep after the fish hat but then I noticed that my redstone minion was already full and I only had it up for like few hours so I obviously needed a compactor for it before I went to bed but I didn't have high enough collection to craft it and my diamond pickaxe wasn't good enough. After giving up with the compactor plan while I was getting oak for medium chests I just thought that hey you can buy super compactors from Bazaar. Maybe you can buy normal ones as well. And surprisingly, you can. So not only did I upgrade all my minion chests into medium ones, I was able to buy compactors for the minions that needed them. Finally, I can go to sleep. All my minions have fuel, medium chests, and compactors. The cherry event is happening in eight hours and I can't miss it. Tomorrow. It would have been so perfect if not a single minion was full, but of course the oak minion has to ruin it for everyone. It's okay though, I forgive you. You're working hard. That's quite the improvement though, because usually all the minions are full, except obsidian ones. Let's see what we can unlock. Medium accessory pack and nothing. I can level up the minion though. Redstone tier 5. I should have enough for the obsidian minion as well. Yeah, I do. I'm so sorry, Oak minion. You are not the only one who is full. We are getting there, eventually. It's time for the thing you guys have been waiting for. The fastest early game money-making method. The cherry event. It doesn't even have any requirements, I think. All you do is you collect these gifts. 
and Santa will give you a green gift as a reward. Then you run to the right side of the island and complete the chicken race three times. You pretty much just fly through these rings like you do in one of those party games in arcade. First you get the red gift, then you get the gift compass which is pretty much useless because you can just use YouTube to find the white gifts. And the last good thing you get is the rare frozen chicken talisman. You can complete the race one more time but you only get jingle bells and those are kinda useless and really annoying. If you do all that, you have already made decent amount of money if you sell the gifts. But the main thing to get money from is the event. First you have to talk to Frosty to get the snowball blaster. And then you just play paintball in Skyblock. You can help the team by killing the magma cubes. Or you can kill the dudes in the village. The only thing that matters is that you deal at least 100 damage before the wave ends. If you manage to do that, then you get the max rewards. Which is 7 whites, 2 reds and 6 greens. If you somehow struggle to get 100 damage with the snow blaster, I recommend trying to get one of the cannons because they deal a lot of damage. It's also free. The snow blaster only has 1000 snowballs and refill is like 1k. But the cannons, they don't cost anything. There's 5 waves in total and there's 7 minute break between all the waves. So I spent that 7 minutes mining ice and upgrading my ice minion. Sadly, the 5th wave glitched and it never happened so I missed out on some gifts. I'm not gonna complain though because I still made over 800k. I'm probably gonna get close to a million because I'm not gonna sell them during the event when the prices are down, so it's a really good way to make money. I also got the fairy souls because the cherry island only shows up every 5 days or so, so I just wanted to get them out of the way. And because of the ice mining, I was able to craft a magical water bucket. I was finally ready to meet my good friend at the park. Do we have to talk to him first? I think we do. Put the water there, put the fish in there, and then... I'm gonna run out of mana mate. Oh thank god, okay we got it. Raider's axe. It's only 130k. It's so beautiful. Look at the damage and strength compared to the undead sword I have right now. Goodbye undead sword. Let's see how much damage I can deal with this thing. 645 and it's not even enchanted yet. Nice. I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I made like a mill and I got a really nice weapon upgrade. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.